Hey guys, welcome to Ditch the File. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk about um, the sprocket, which is that component there. Now you can see the I've got two chains wrapped around it. You know, it's just an experiment that I just want to show you guys. I've got two chains here. One's um, one's been one's almost brand new. Oh, I just had to stand up there. And the other one has been uh, has been well worn and it's stretched and it's gone beyond the the capacity of what the chain tensioner can keep the chain tight around the bar. And there you can see it's an 18 inch bar. Yeah, you, know, you can see just lying next to it. And you can see the blue tag, and that blue tag is the one where the chain has been stretched way beyond its um, use on this chainsaw. Well, really on any chainsaw, I can only discard it. And for, say from a so from an aerial point of view, you can see it's, the chain's wrapped around the sprocket over there, and and I can bring it around here. And if I go directly above, you can see that the the worn chain is about uh, about twelve millimeters or half an inch more forward than the than the newer chain. You can see that that's the one with the blue tag. So. And I had to, I had to uh, pack it up, you know, so I can sort of keep the keep the two two chains at the same tension, same level type of thing. So, so you can uh, now I'm just sort of bending down so you can see. Oh, yeah, so they both both chains wrap around the sprocket evenly, and then you can see the forward chain or the closest one to the camera. You can see those drive links are uh, itching a little bit more forward than the other one, or the one behind it. And here you can see that it's pretty much you know, like uh, halfway and it's sort of caught up to the next link. And then, and then here, by the time I, you know, they're pretty much same on par with one another. And yeah yeah so it's almost exactly the same as one another around here so in a space of 18 inches the stretch chain has used one less link to reach the end than the than a newer chain and uh, and so basically it doesn't align perfectly as it goes around the sprocket so so basically what I'm trying to say is that the that a stretch chain it just slowly wears away the sprocket you know because it just doesn't align you know, align perfectly you know as it's going around and then these things are you know how what going about you know a couple of thousand revs per minute so you can you can just sort of understand the the wear and tear that these that the sprocket will end up going through, you know. And you can see even on the bottom link, you know, that they're just not lining up. And, uh, yeah, so, so basically, yeah, so if you've got wear and tear on your sprocket, um, make sure that you get that replaced. And, uh, and obviously the chain as well. If your chain is worn out, uh, just buy some new ones. Always have a couple of spares. And uh, so the first signs of when your chain is getting blunt, take it off and put another one on. And, and the one that you've taken off, obviously have that sharpened properly. And when I mean by properly, just by, by um, you know, using a, a, a machine a machine sharpener uh, uh, like I've got one sitting over here like one of these little babies and uh, in the next video I'll go through on how I sharpen the chain and uh, and like uh, you know by having uh, chains sharp all the time you, you prevent it from uh, stretching and uh, and with the 
and with the less stretch obviously then the, then there will be less wear on the um, on the sprocket there yeah and on one last note I ended up having to replace the bar as well um, due to this uh, the chain stretching and and it was uh, for the reason that the um, that the 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 drive links on the chain ended up uh, uh, steady um, aligning perfectly around the, the the sprocket here on the tip of the bar. It basically ended up hitting it, and uh, which which ended up creating a lot of friction and heat, and uh, and it ended up seizing the seizing this. Uh, uh, you know the the sprocket there all the components or bearings or whatever i'm not too sure what's you know what's uh, inside there you know and uh yeah so i hope you have found this uh video of uh of use and interest and i hope to see you guys in the next video okay cheers bye